Hello peeps and welcome back to The Sims Medieval. Welcome back to Bumbleton uh, where we're going to build the market this time. Indeed we are. Look, the market is the commercial centre of the kingdom uh, facilitating the exchange of goods and ideas for the right price. Um, it's also going to increase our capacity of the two things that we're doing absolutely nothing in. Knowledge and well-being. <laughs> <laughs> need to do something about this um we are going to build this furnished um cool this takes 40 um rp look we got 70 so we have it but still you know it's quite it's quite pricey isn't it there it is oh look the market hey it looks pretty cool from here so we need a merchant is this lachlan at uh, richie who <gasps> loves family your sims interact with family members will have better results. Your sim can uh, share their family uh, love with other sims, boosting their mood. He's also good. Oh, uh, has hubris, so it's a bit, bit unfortunate. Um, and then we have Marilda, <clears throat> who is earthly. Your sim is always in a better mood outside. That might actually work well for the marketplace your sim has a better chance than other sims of finding rare herbs and ores when collecting outdoors um i'm not sure if that's something a market person would do but it sounds like it could be beneficial um adventurous your sim can go on adventures in the forest and on the ship that sounds cool to play with i'd love to check that out but also bloodthirsty your sim will easily get into fights with other sims <laughs> Your sim will always be in a better mood after fighting. Do you know, uh, Marilda uh, Hobson sounds very interesting. So I think we might go with her. But we need the name of a patron. Let's find one. I think we're going to go with Ol Gunner, a long-term patron of mine. Ol, so, um, yeah, you're going to be the merchant. Bumbleton was abuzz with news of a child gone missing. Recovering the child safely would be an incredible boon to the kingdom morale. So now I'm wondering if we could uh, go with this one because we can use anybody, including our merchant, right? <coughs> our primary hero. There it is. Here we are. Oh, look, they have more of an indoor space because the market, I guess, is an outdoor space. They've got an entire extra room here, look. Um, so they, yeah, seem to have, look, even a doll and whatnot. Um, I guess a merchant would be, makes sense for them to be a little more wealthy. Um, and then we've got, look, chest of drawers up here, place to cook, someone to pee. <laughs> uh, this sort of business. Okay, so pr pretty nice digs. Um, but yeah, we have stalls here. So what have, ooh. Um, a triads rise market store and I'm assuming yeah we can check merchandise and open for business so I'm, I'm guessing that all of these there's no items to sell yet is going to have no items we've got three stalls here okay um that's fine that's absolutely fine isn't it uh it also looks like this sim is floating can you see that looks like this sim is floating it's very bizarre <laughs> on their daily tasks that they need to remember to pay their taxes um, an open stall for business be a successful merchant i have to sell and order to sell i need to open my stall for business this is fine this is fine oh look we were at one with nature because she is outside and she's feeling quite decorated uh, what's causing this disturbance investigate disturbance with the townspeople okie dokie let's let's uh let's do you know what we'll do before we do that, shall we pay our taxes? And we might do a little bit of discovering here. Oh, she can't, does not have the ability to gather from this object, but does from this one. That's interesting. Does from this one, not from that one, I guess. Maybe certain levels. I was just thinking, you know, she might be able to put this sort of stuff. Look on the stall um, but we can't we seem to be quite restricted oh we can discover this one but not that one very strange isn't it it's very strange I think but we'll give it a go I'll collect up some herbs and see if we can put any on the stall all right so we've got some bits and bobs let's come and check merchandise here oh we can hear chickens <laughs> What's, there they are all right Brox. Okay, 
So here we are. All right. And we've got, look, some seeds and wildflowers, um, grass weed and blood moss. Just to get us started, right? Now, right, does, <laughs> nope, it's going to have to be something more substantial. Fine, whatever. Well, before we go to town, shall we speak to this townsperson? We talk to him quite a lot because he's always by the well. Minusen, Venton Gruneg. Alas, a child has gone missing. A few of the villagers claim to have seen a small boy hiding around the town. Perhaps there is some way for me to help find him. Interesting. So we've got an option here. How should I quest? How should the quest party proceed? Party? Uh, bribes him to gain more information about the missing child. Set a reward for the child's safe return. This option sounds more interesting for us as a character. Uh, some of the townspeople may uh, be withholding information for fear they will be accused of kidnapping. I should see if some gold simoleons will loosen their tongues. Fair enough. Right. I like that plan, but turns out you're quite hungry. <laughs> quite hungry. So we really should go to the... Um, village shop also investigate town today's market we we also need goods for the stalls so uh let's do both of these things that sounds interesting doesn't look like there are any hot items for sale right now oh so we get hot items uh, flustered with the crowded streets shopkeeper old took a shortcut through a tough section of town the narrow crooked streets got darker and more treacherous suddenly old was cornered by a gang of hooded hoods <laughs> your gold or your blood they hissed in unison so we could either lecture them it was sad really the ruffians just needed a little wise counsel they were merely the pro they were merely the product of a poor environment and a failing education system surely shopkeeper all could bring them around or run for it it was clear that the club of herb addled gutter <laughs> <laughs> battled gutter scum have no ear for reason they would uh, kill simply for the sport of it and were beyond redemption the only option was to run now this is um probably a good move but isn't she supposed to be a good fighter and enjoy a good fight or something might give this a go let's let's lecture them <laughs> This feels like a bad idea. A shopkeeper all uh, lectured the thugs. They slowly sheathed their crooked blades and, looking sheepishly towards one another, began to nod their heads and cry. <laughs> their leader stepped forward and thanked shopkeeper all for teaching them the value of self-respect. Each wretched hugged all in turn and left a small token of his appreciation so we receive four dollars a hundred xp ten renown and a and four weak curative tonics <laughs> we could put the curative tonics i guess on the market still for sale we could try that because it doesn't like us selling herbs does it um unbelievable wow so that was that was interesting we didn't even get into a fight anyway we now need to go <laughs> back to the village shop we need food we need food not only to eat but i might also try to sell some so i've not been able to find any pigeon meat or anything but we have got fowl meat and herring so we've decided to buy that um there's no hot items uh, for the market today so you know there's no sort of real guide on what we should be buying what will sell well and all the rest of it um and i don't really want to sell the weak curative tonics that i currently have on me um, but we do need to open a stall uh for the daily task so i'm hoping i'm thinking with the with the herbs we've currently got maybe there's just not enough on the stall in order to warrant opening it but i'm hoping that perhaps with these bits we might be able um to open a store maybe we could also buy um some food that's super cheap you know because um like cabbages <laughs> cabbages look they're only they're only one each you know make sure that we can try and open a stall um for our daily task yeah we're now getting the option to open for business um which is interesting let's go and check merchandise and i've not put the items in yet so maybe if we take all these, open for business. There are no right. Okay. So if we 
pop in these bits now. So it seems that these herbs might have done it. There are no items for sale. Open for business. Oh, it's sort of coming and going a little bit, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> ah, okay, we've done, we've done it. Look. Browse. Can browse. It's perhaps, yeah, all the stalls are the same, so it doesn't really matter which one you fill up or whatever. It'll show all the stalls. Oh, hey, Doc. Oh, always looking for a fight. Jeez. We should probably... Do some like merchant. Yeah, look. <laughs> Do you remember Open for Business on The Sims? That was a that was a great expansion pack. Oh, <laughs> getting excited. <laughs> right, let's see here. Let's um, butter up apothecary Chadwick. So we've had a yummy meal. So that's good. We've done today's tasks. It is getting late though. We're just getting familiar, right, with the uh, with the old merchant. Oh, look, it's ju it's just closed. So I guess it will let me open again. Why did it close? That didn't go well. That didn't go well. We could fight them. <laughs> that might might make her feel better. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, now would you buy something from the stall? <laughs> no? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, let's go to bed. <laughs> ah, what an eventful first day! <laughs> right, she's um, waking up at 5.30 in the morning. Am <clears throat> I going to make more food? Decided. Um, she's well rested. It's easy to wake up on the right side of the bed when you get plenty of time in the bed. Um, I think though we might also see about um, the usual uh, bits and bobs that I'm starting to decide I like to have in these places. I like them to have somewhere to get washed up and a mirror. There we go. So once she's eaten, she can have a wash, she can gussy up, feel really good for the day ahead. That's my thinking. We've got here a few gold simoleons uh, will loosen anyone's tongue. We need to bribe two townspeople. Um, oh look, we've got a, a weaver here. Maybe bribe. Of your sula. I, I don't know anything. Thanks for the gold, though. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good start, everybody. Good start. <laughs> Journeyman S uh, Smith Laura. You know, how about a hero? Should we bribe a hero? Maybe a hero knows something. Eh? Come on, Laura. I think I saw him near the town square. I swear I didn't have anything to do with it. Um, I wonder why he disappeared like this. Ask about the boy's disappearance. Now, there is a boy. Ask about disappearance. He's over there. Let's go and talk to him. Uh, we're getting to the point where we really need some funds. <laughs> that was expensive. Butter up two customers. I don't feel like I've been connecting with my customers that well. Maybe buttering them up will help uh, open up their pockets. And also, ask two customers to buy. Asking customers to buy things at the market shall uh, keep me in business and increases my exposure in the kingdom. We shall do these things. So here's the boy. He's near the cave, look. I ran away because I feel like too many citizens in our city were keeping secrets from the rest of us. Seeing nice people like you makes me thunk think otherwise, though. That was it. <laughs> that was the whole mission. Maybe we should uh, do another quest. <laughs> with the shopkeeper that was very short wasn't it <laughs> hurrah <laughs> uh well good they did level up all leveled up which is fantastic look at that um slightly increased profit margin when uh, buying and selling goods excellent slightly increased chance to convince sims to purchase goods and can use the ship to trade with other territories that's exciting isn't it that is exciting um <laughs> okay well uh, i think we should probably do another quest um but i would still like 
to use our new merchant. That was so brief. Maybe the sinister sorcerer is also brief, but probably can't yet. Yeah, can't use. <laughs> can't use them. Hmm. We have the Fisherman's Challenge. The time has come for Bumbleton's yearly fishing challenge. Any in the kingdom could enter, but few had the skill and experience needed to defeat the kingdom's veteran fishermen. Uh, who would win this year's challenge? Sounds fun. Uh, so we just need to compete. And look, we do get some well-being from it. Um, and we can select... I could win this. <laughs> <laughs> our merchant which is fantastic here we go royal advisor gladys had announced that the annual bumbleton fishing competition had begun all were welcome to enter royal advisor gladys would have all the details so it does say that we should go and find out about this competition oh it says about our to sell weapon surplus all needs to have a high relationship oh my goodness Oh, let's go and say... Yeah, ask about health. It's probably not great. Oh, let's, but we should go and do this. Also, we need to ask Guildsman to sell the... Oh, yeah, there it is. The Courtesum's uh, surplus weapon. So our... An open store for business. So our daily tasks have reset. Although we did get a thousand doubloons. Doubloons. Simoleons. Simoleon. <laughs> um, right, okay. Okay. Things have changed a little bit <laughs> in our break. I wonder how high the relationship has to be for this. Wow, check out that pirate. Wow. It's quite something, isn't he? <laughs> how are you? How's your health? Are you, are you good? Yeah? Yeah? Um, let's, shall we just have a, a chat? Maybe we should uh, just get to know each other in general. We could always um, even discuss the state of the kingdom. Oh, okay. Harold has uh, started to get a little flirty here. My goodness. But we can now do this. No blast. Who says there's a rule against selling weapons during wartime? Now we have to bribe the guild into selling the weapons. Okay, I see how this works. Palms need greasing. Bribe. God, there's always a lot, isn't it? It's always an astronomical amount. Okay. Buy the weapons for a hundred simoleons. How does this work? Exchange at the same time? What? So it's cost us 200? These weapons better sell for a good amount of cash. Excellent. I secured the arms. Now to just give them over to the enemy. <laughs> Hand the guild weapons over to a pirate. Imagine the look of surprise on the guildsmen's faces when they realise they're getting stabbed with their own blades. They'll probably laugh. Don't think so. <laughs> Hello? Oh, now we have to improve the relationship with him. Wow, this is nuts. This is taking ages. Wow, we learnt that Alban is cruel. <laughs> oh, look, we even have the consortium weaponry here. This bag is filled with assorted rapiers, the guildsman's preferred weapon. It is chosen the most often. A gentleman's weapon, the rapier, sure knows how to make a point. Get it? Because they're pointy. <laughs> Ah, hand over the weaponry. Here we go. Oh, he's also agnostic. Well, they all are. Oh. There we go. We've done a daily task and it took a lot of work. Now, we could do with opening the stall. What we might do is see if today... If there are any hot items on the market see if they're worth buying as we have to open the stall anyway and i would like to try and <laughs> actually sell something that would be really great although we did just make a whole bunch of simoleons from that weapon sale which was fantastic so speaking with the local merchant um the merchandise in high demand today is wheat cheese and the falcon so cheese was hot today wasn't it? So we're going to buy a load of cheese. 
Why do you have to go to that one? We're clicking on every market but that one. You're obsessed with this one. Right, let's get the cheese in there and we'll also put the weak curative tonics in. Let's do it. Let's open up for business and uh, see if we can sell some goods. Although opening up was enough to uh, clear. But I would like to try and sell something. I'd like to have a go at this, right? This might be good. So we've got a lady coming in here. Um, so why don't we uh, compliment taste? Uh, yes, these are all beautiful things. Well done, yes. We kept yes, yes. Okay, that was good. That was good. Uh, we've got somebody over here. Um, I think, uh, again, we're just going to compliment. Because the thing is, is that what I've noticed... We did this, didn't we? Oh, mind you, it does say the chances are high. So let's give it a go. Oh, yes, yeah, see, that was that was positive. Okay. So if we come back over here, the success chance is high. I guess we did level up as well. So that's always nice. Okay. And we are getting XP each time we do that, aren't we? We are getting a bit of XP. So what else have we got here? So we can't ask. We need to establish better rapport. So we have to have just a great relationship with everybody, as far as I can tell, before we can actually sell any goods. What a nightmare. Right. We can ask to buy goods now. Success is high. Chances are high. She looks like she's got cash, doesn't she? <laughs> Oh. 150 XP you sold herring for 10 is that it mind you the experience was incredible wasn't it it really really was right well uh, that was a little disappointing wasn't it um, we can enter here I think we will make some food we're getting really rather hungry uh, and evening is setting in. Do you know what? I still think, though, we could go to Royal Advisor Gladys after we've had something to eat and ask about the fishing competition. Are you interested in the competition? Yes, anyone can enter. Anyone who hasn't already won, that is. The entrance fee is only 100 simoleons. What is this? Everything is so expensive. Uh, it's a fair fee. I'll pay it. Uh, I'm sure we can waive the fee just this one time. After all, it's me. Just, just pay it. Okay, it looks like I have enough to pay the fee. Yes, that's right. So let's do that. It says, I hope the prizes are worth it. Yes, me too. Pay the fee. <laughs> goes, I'm assuming the money goes towards the kingdom, so I don't, I don't begrudge paying it too much. Just everything seems to, seems to be the going rate, doesn't it? 100 simoleons. The treasury thanks you. Here's the deal. The person who turns in the biggest fish in the next few days will win the prize. Previous contest winners, Fisherman Barney and Fisherman Merlon, might be able to offer useful advice, but be warned, one of them is an old eccentric and has been known to give dubious advice. I forget which one though, sorry. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay, hmm, I should check with those old fishermen uh, for advice. Well, do you know what? I don't think we'll go to the docks. Do you know what? The docks isn't too far, I think, from the market. It's a little way, but it's not as far as the castle was. So Let let's head back. Um, and, oh, actually, look, she wants a fight anyway. So um, <laughs> the docks seems like a good place to get into a fight. So these are the two here. Look, Fisherman Barney and Fisherman Marlon. I guess I should talk to both fishermen and see what they have to say. I'm inclined to agree. Oh, hey there. You want help with the competition? Well, if you want my help, you cook me up an eel stew and I'll offer you some advice that's bound to win you the competition. Old Barney uh, can catch anything in the water, but he can't cook that well. So just don't listen to that Marlon. He's a lying liar. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go and talk to him. What have we got? He looks like a liar. <laughs> oh, you want help winning the competition, do you? Nice of you to go and seek out an old salt like me. Now, if you want my help, just bring me an apple and we'll get started. Oh, and don't listen to Barney over there. He's a bit crazy. Right, I don't think it's very nice calling somebody crazy. 
Whose advice should the shopkeeper all follow? Ooh. That fisherman Barney seems to be on the level. I like the cut of fisherman Marlin's jib. <laughs> There's probably no correct answer either. It's probably just totally random every time you play it. Um, <laughs> I quite like Barney though. I liked him. I liked him. Gonna do it. So gonna go with Barney. So I guess old fishermen appreciate a nice eel stew every once in a while. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're gonna go home, and we're gonna get some kip. It's really late. And then tomorrow we need to go and buy some eel. Oh, daily task coming. Ask two customers to buy, okay, and acquire one wood via trading and deliver to carpenter. I need to keep my trade relationships and local carpenter has requested a piece of wood. I'll need to sail to craft hole to trade for the wood and then deliver to my customer. Right, okay. Well, I guess we're going to be going to the docks shortly once we've made this eel soup. Right, so we're going to do a large eel stew. Stewed eel tastes surprisingly like chicken. <laughs> Fishy, scaly chicken. So we've got an egg, an onion, eel and cabbage. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it... If we're going to make a stew, you know, go big or go home, right? <laughs> we want the best results from this guy. I swear this guy's a good dude. <laughs> He's going to see us right, but only as long as we see him right, which means, you know, way to a man's heart. Big hearty stew. <laughs> okay, these chickens just improve their relationship with each other. Did you see that? Okay, so we've got a bag of eel stew. This bag uh, strains to contain a large sloppy mess of stew. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's go and give him the stew. Uh, I hope Barney appreciates all the cooking I did for him. Me too. We're giving it our best. Ah, oh, that looks delicious. Too bad I can't eat it. Oh, you thought that was for me? No. This here stew is what we fishermen like to call bait. Just take this down to the pond and try to catch a good sized fish. I'm sure you'll have good luck. So finally, it's time to do some fishing. Catch a prize winning fish. <laughs> what? So can we do that just from right here? What's this? Fish. Fish! Can we... How? Is it... Is it... Oh. Oh, here comes a fishing rod. So I guess we just have a fishing rod. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, we caught a herring. Hey, this will win the competition for sure. Uh, I guess fish really do go for eel stew. So a prize winning fish. Potentially. Craft hole. Send ship. Oh, hang on a minute. Trades. We need two mushrooms for wood. Oh. <laughs> oh, we spend so much time going to market. It's unreal. <laughs> right, well, it's getting late. She's really hungry. We've only got three hours left on this Ask Two Customers. So I think we might need to... <laughs> oh, no, this is a nightmare. Um... We're going to eat and see if we can get this done. But I, I, I'm not. I'm not convinced that we can. Well, this isn't going to happen. This is not going to happen. So let's um, instead let's at least try because we've only got three hours left on this one now. Let's at least try and get this one done. Right, sail to craft. Oh no, hang on. We're first going to want to open the cargo hold. Okay, get those mushrooms on. Because now this one's flashing red. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, the merchant's hard. We didn't shirk responsibility. It's difficult. You have to become friends with bleeding everybody. It's not. It's not something you can do in five minutes. <laughs> We've been on the ship ages now. We've got an hour left on this. Is there enough time to actually sail there? Okay, we traded two mushrooms for one wood. The ship's coming back, but I... I, I we're not going to be able to deliver to the customer as well. 
unless they're right on the dock. So where is the customer? Who is the customer I have to deliver to? There's no... It's not clear to me. Because the only person we've got is for the fishing thing. Who the customer is, I don't know. And this timer hasn't reset. So I guess we're going to fail this one as well. Well, that's not good, is it? That's not good at all. And I tried really hard on both. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> well, it's not so much that it's hard. It's just extremely time consuming that's that that's the thing with it which is unattractive i'm gonna be honest do you know what might just go and hand in this fish i can't wait to claim the prize from the royal advisor and i bet our sh our fish sucks show fish you know what? i know that you're tired and i know our performance is now degrading <laughs> look how miserable she is <laughs> minus 40 focus this better be good Unfortunately, no. Goodman Lud was already turned in an enormous tench and is currently leading the competition. Good luck beating that, all. So, I hope Fisherman Barney has some ideas on what I should do next. Oh, right, so it is continuing. <laughs> the quest is continuing. What a, what a supremely awful day. <laughs> but tomorrow is a different day, right? Tomorrow is a different day. Let's, um, let's go to sleep. God, it's 6am. We've been up all night with this. I guess what we'll do... <laughs> uh, uh, look at this. We'll get a little bit of sleep. Yeah, just a couple of hours. Eat some food. Right, today's responsibilities have come in. We're going to get her up. We are going to wash Gussie up. We're going to make some food, right? And try our best to feel good about this then um it's the ex the consortium surplus weapons okay and learn hot items and buy items um keeping hot items in stock in my stall is important and profitable i should visit the village figure out what people are buying and stock up <sighs> well this um, okay <laughs> so that means we're going to have to make friends with this person whole new person to make friends with <sighs> what a nightmare oh my goodness let him go maybe we should get a shovel it's time to get a shovel <laughs> this guy over here is, is starting fights pirate sean here is starting a lot of fights with people oh we still we still don't get on with this person enough okay so we finally have enough relationship look see just keep starting fights over here and um oh is uh looking for a fight so this will help her feel better so ask to sell the weapons okay so this is where we need to bribe them and then buy them. Right, before we go anywhere, let's go and fist fight this guy. Also, this is the guy that we need to hand over the weaponry to, but we need to have a high relationship with him. <laughs> uh, Apologise. That's going to be step one. Uh... <laughs> Oh no. Hand over weaponry. 500 for that. Right, okay. We are going to go and discuss at the docks. Right, what is going on here? Discuss competition. Come on, Barney. These two seem to get on quite well considering they seem to badmouth each other. <laughs> Uh, what, any ideas on what we could do next? Try and get something bigger. Jim, Malgrove. 
Oh lass, I didn't think that trout would win. That trout's merely bait for a larger fish, a much larger fish. I'm talking whale here. Are you up for the challenge? Whale? Yes, let's do this. <laughs> That's insane. I'm going back to Fisherman Marlin. No, I, I, let, let's hunt whale. <gasps> Good choice, girl. You know, a whale was responsible for my parents' deaths. <laughs> And I've never forgiven these beastly fishes. Anyway, the first thing you'll need is a proper whaling harpoon. Fortunately, most village shops carry them. Okay, and we need to go there anyway. So really, the village store carries whaling harpoons. Okay, we also need to learn the hot items and buy them. Right, so... Oh, please, I came here first. Jeez. Um, right, let's go... Because it's what's annoying is we have to learn, we have to go investigate the market. So we take do this really long travel, have to wait ages to find out. Then they come all the way back. Then they have to go all the way to the village store. Then we have to buy them. So we have to remember all the items that are hot at the time. <sighs> right. So the things that were hot was the tench, the steel longsword, and lord leaf. Right. And then here's the whaling harpoon. But I also noticed in this shopping list that we have a whaling boat a whaler's boat a small skiff necessary for hunting whales don't forget the harpoon which is 800 <laughs> the sword is so expensive if we purchase just one of those fish one of those we are three short Three. Oh, I'm gonna remove the Lord Leaf. Buy these items. Uh, I can't believe I'm really going whale hunting with this tiny thing. Oh well, to the docks. Also, we just completed Big Spender. For Fifteen points towards your watcher achievement level. We spent fifteen thousand in total. Oh, oh, actually, it cleared. It did clear, even though we didn't buy all the hot items. Okay, I thought we were going to have to buy all the hot items. Probably just one would have done it. Well, that's okay, so we probably didn't need to buy the bleeding sword. But I'm not going to worry about that. What we're going to do... Oops. We are going to keep stocking up, right? So we're going to put the sword in there. Put that tension there. We'll keep our boat. Uh, we'll put the mushrooms in there. Actually, we probably should keep the mushrooms in case we have to go back to craft hole there we go right so let's uh, hustle Ooh, hustle eh i'm up for a bit of hustling oh oh we leveled up with that which is increased profit margin when buying and selling goods and increased chance to convince sims to purchase goods that would be amazing ask to buy please so leveling is going to really help with this thank goodness because it there's so much time is being spent on this sort of stuff oh she's gonna buy something except we can't get her to the stool because this this situation is persistent it really is so that's actually just ruined our chance i have trouble stocking them and everything because of these two stand and talk here there's always people standing here it's problematic for sure so we'll try another hustle okay oh spy goods oh yes oh this is so much better at level three thank goodness now hopefully she can reach the stall yes what's she gonna buy Buy the sword. Buy the sword. <laughs> she bought a cabbage. Why was that in a flat box? Eh? Why was that in a flat box? The town cries here, by the way. Not fun at all. Oh, a level three merchant is making life so much easier. Okay. Yes. Oh, I like this. Level three merchant all the way. What we might do is take the cabbages off, off the market store. Only put decent things on there, right? So they can't buy nonsense. Ah, 
Now that looks like a cabbage box. She bought the cheese! She bought the cheese. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this up. We're going to, I think, probably take out the wildflowers and that. I think, um... Might be good for um, giving to the dock and stuff like that, right? Do you know what? We might even take these bits out. Okay. Right. There's only like really good stuff in there. Let's come over here. Hustle. Excellent. Us by goods. Do you know what? Now all of a sudden the market still seems worth it. <laughs> Bought cheese. Excellent. Oh, the town crier. Do you know what? We'll do one more. And then um, we will get to bed and try to have a good night's kip and have a good day tomorrow. Okay, things are on the up. Everything seems so hopeless. And within the space of a day, everything has changed. Okay, so we're quite well focused. Um, you know, we're feeling attractive. We've had a wash. We've had breakfast. We've slept well. Uh, we've, we're now into gold for the fisherman challenge. Uh, pretty good what we now need to do is hunt whale oh look here we go on the boat hunt whale oh exciting we've done today's t daily quest well we're in a couple of hours i suppose we're about to get two new ones but uh things are on the up things are looking good wow what a difference a day can make eh the skies grew stormy and the seas rough as soon as shopkeeper old ship left port. She knew this would be a perilous journey one way or another, but days passed without sign of the well, and Ol was beginning to regret trusting Fisherman Barney. No. Suddenly, a great whale splashed into view. The massive creature was barreling straight for the starboard bow and would crush the ship unless... Shopkeeper Ol leapt into action. She raced to the railing, took aim with her harpoon, and readied the throw. <gasps> One murderous well has been slain this day in the name of vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and you're just carrying that around in your pocket, are you? Let's have a look. Yep. Whale trophy. This bloody whale fin. Ah, it's just the fin, right? Is proof of a mighty conquest. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time to get that prize. Let's uh, let's go and tell the whale story. <laughs> oh my god, Barney, my guy. I knew. Look, Barney. I knew it. I knew it, Barney. What a dude. What a dude. I mean, who's gonna beat a whale? Come on. Exciting times afoot. We have arrived. My leash. <laughs> Exciting times. Here we go. Gladys. I has a story. <laughs> Bloody Finn. Oh my, that's quite a story. I assume you have proof. Yes. Well, I'll just have to declare you the winner, shopkeeper old. Congratulations! Yes! <laughs> oh yeah, congratulations! We've reached level four, so increased profit margin when buying and selling goods and increased chance to convince Sims to purchase goods. Right, okay, finally, the market seems so much easier <laughs> than it was when we started out. It was, oh my god, it was awful. However... We're now level four and the merchant seems pretty cool. With the aid of an industrious fisherman, shopkeeper Ol won the fishing competition. She received much adulation and plaudits, at least among the fishing community of Bumbleton. But who would win next year? Wow, wow, so we got gold level. Uh, it's quite a short one, which is just as well because we also had another short one. So Ol has done two, has earned masses of stuff for the kingdom in those two uh, fairly short quests. Um, but it's, yeah, it's got, it's gone well. I'm really pleased. Really, really pleased. Um, so we've got nothing low now. We have uh, three neutrals. Effective Sims are still roaming the kingdom. Uh, some bandits roam the countryside. Home burglaries happen occasionally. <laughs> and knowledge, uh, uh, knowledge is not great. Okay. Which, uh, you know, this, this is 
probably the one we should be focusing on the most. Um, important foreign priests are attracted to town. New social options are available. Donating to the church, donating to the church results in Watchers Charity. Um, so, yes, I do think we're getting to a situation where having a church could actually be a really good thing. But bearing in mind these other things we've got going on as well. Um, we do have, look, barracks over here. So I think we're getting close to really needing something like this, right? Ooh, spy quarters gives us knowledge and security. Um, I mean, it only increases the capacity, but it might also open up uh, quests that give us similar sorts of things, right? Given what, what they do. We also have, look, the wizard's tower, which is just masses of knowledge um, that we could consider as well. Um, yeah, uh, but this we are getting sort of this continued unfocused behavior. So I think it might be the church. And then we might look at doing the spy. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.